Yo, what is going on guys, Max here with a brand new video, and today I wanted to talk about something that I've noticed over the past couple of days that is really taking over DayZ, and that is the Contaminated Zones. So the Contaminated Zones is a relatively new thing that DayZ has added, and I believe they added it in late September or mid-September is whenever they did 1.14. So the goal of this was to create, you know, little areas of gas that you know, higher tier loot is going to spawn in, you can go and have a great time, you might die, things of that nature, right? Well, little did the developers know that this is actually going to change a lot of how Daisy is played, and it's kind of interesting to look back and see just how different things are compared to now. So, contaminated zones work in a very interesting way. If you don't know how it is, I'll quickly explain it for you. So, you have two types of the contaminated zones. You have the static zones, and then you have the dynamic zones. I'll go ahead and put a graph on the screen now. So, the little red circles are going to be your dynamic zones. So, these are randomized areas that can spawn contaminated zones and it will be different depending on the server of course everything's going to be completely different and these are all randomized and I believe there is one that occurs every 15 minutes roughly you have a few warning signs if you're in a city that does have it in there uh, so there will be a flare that occasionally you will see it'll shoot up in the sky uh, you will hear the sounds of artillery and then right before you're pretty much dead uh, you'll hear a large missile come and actually explode over the city and gas will just envelop the entire city as the gas sits in you are pretty much done for it as the gas does sit in you do have quite a bit of time to get out i believe in total once you see the red flare you have about 125 seconds if i remember correctly now this may not be a whole lot of time depending on what area you are in but you do have quite a bit of time before you start to get severe gas poisoning and at that point you're pretty much dead there's not really much else you can do unless you can find the antidotes the dynamic zones don't actually spawn any of the high tier loot that you can get in the static zones so whenever you are in a city and you do hear the gas coming you are much better off just running away as there's not going to be any real benefit to staying in this area unless maybe you have a base there but even then you can always just come back for everything that you might need now the static zones are going to be completely different there are only two static zones and on the same map you will see them there circled in blue this is going to be the Pavlovo military base and for anyone familiar with the Berezino area this is going to be the giant boat that's stranded off the coast that you used to always spawn at I feel like so these two areas and official servers will always be covered in gas there's no way around that they will always be enveloped in gas but these two areas are very key as they spawn some of the highest tier items that you can actually find in the game. If you do make your way over here, you'll be more than welcome to find M4s, AKs, VSSs, s files different types of suppressors, a couple of the high capacity mags and things of that nature. You can also find the antidote for gas poisoning here, which I think is pretty ironic. But these zones entirely have just changed the way Daisy is played. No longer do you have to run to Tissy, the Northwest Airfield, to get some of the highest tier loot. These two zones are very close to the coast. Granted, you can't really enter them because you will more than likely die from gas poisoning because you don't have much time before it starts to kill you immediately but it is a little bit more possible now to actually try and run in maybe you can get lucky enough to find a certain gun and you can actually make your way across the coast wreaking havoc on the entire population of the server now the one thing the zones do really well is introducing gas poisoning gas poisoning is one of the few diseases in daisy that you cannot deal with there's no way of just suffering through it and just hoping that you make it on the other side alive once you do get gas poisoning it is almost set in stone that you will be dying from it at some point. I believe you do start to cough up blood and you do get some random cuts as you enter the zones. This is the first few signs you'll get. After that, at some point, you will be coughing up blood, like I said, and then with the final stages, you will actually start to throw up blood. Once this happens, it is over. So whenever you do throw up blood, you will black out immediately afterwards and you will have to sit there for 30 seconds roughly until your character dies. This can create for a huge hassle as you can just be walking through random cities now and you hear the unfortunate clues of a possible gas strike coming directly on your position. There's not much you can do besides immediately run out of the town that you're in, as 99% of you will not be prepared enough to take on what comes after the gas actually does fall. So in these zones, after the gas does hit, it will kill all of the wildlife and infected that are there. So if you do have any chickens or sheep that you're trying to slaughter and it hits, they will be completely gone. I am sorry to tell you that. But in their place arises new NBC zombies. Now, if you've seen the NBC gear in the previous versions of Daisy, you'll know it's mostly just hazmat suits with gas masks. However, these zombies have their own little special stats as they're very similar to the military zombies you'll see when you go to the military camps. However, they spawn in hordes. It is something out of Call of Duty zombies, I kid you not and it is the craziest thing if you actually get to see this in person. Of course it doesn't help any that when you do kill them you can't pick up all of their NBC gear so you are kind of stuck on your own trying to figure out where you can get all of your NBC gear to successfully go through the contaminated zones. But they can drop little bits and pieces 
pieces here and there, but you can't take their full suit like I was saying. These zones have absolutely changed everything about how Daisy is played, as now you always have to be listening out for not only other players, other zombies and creatures, but now you have to listen for distant artillery strikes and hope you see a flare in the air before it's way too late and you're dead. The character you just put 15 hours into trying to get from Cherno all the way up to the airfield is completely gone as he died of gas poisoning. And I am completely here for it, honestly. That is something Daisy has been missing for such a long time. It's just something to add to the excitement of it. Especially when you get in a lot of the servers that are so low in population, there's not much else that goes on besides you actually just looting and exploring. It does create for some really cool and epic moments when you're just sitting in a city and you hear the sound of the strike coming in. And I did get a chance to mention it, but the only real way to actually go through the contaminated zone safely is wearing full NBC gear. So that's going to be boots, pants, gloves, jacket, a hood, and of course the respirator slash gas mask. And you will need a filter as well. Even then you're not fully safe as if any of the zombies do hit it and ruin any of your gear, you will immediately start dying from gas poisoning, obviously. But that is really the only way to successfully traverse the contaminated zones, which it is going to be quite difficult for anyone to successfully do at least, unless they want to go in head first and try looking for the antidote while they just loot up, which is completely possible and doable. Also, I do want to add before we end the video that you can also get all of this in Livonia. So so you will also get dynamic and static zones like this. But yeah guys, that is going to do it for today's video. That is how the contaminated zones work, how they are completely changing how Daisy is played and the fear that now goes along with hearing the artillery strike in the distance. Let me know what you guys think of it. Are you fans of it? Is this something that you're going to actively go and try and explore? Or maybe do you just not care about it at all? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm really quite curious because I know for me personally, it has been kind of an up and down roller coaster trying to figure out if I enjoy it or if I hate it, but it is either way changing how I play my game in DayZ, so that's gonna stay no matter what. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.